Hello. Okay, so this is following on from um, the first video, different types of precedent. First type to be aware of is binding precedent. So this is a precedent that must be followed in the future. I mean, we've spoken about this. So, for example, a decision made in the Supreme Court will bind all future cases on a similar point of law. So good case example is R versus R. Um, this case set out um, it's 1991, this is mad, that it's illegal for a man to rape his wife. So before 1991, a man could have sex with his wife whenever he wanted, whether she agreed or not, because she was his wife. And in 1991, they decided that it should be illegal for a man to rape his wife. So that is a binding precedent. It took Parliament a few years to actually change the law and agree with them. But all future cases had to follow that. So judges are making law. The next type of precedent, persuasive precedent. So this is not binding, but it can be followed by future judges. Um, so, for example, if it's obiter, that's an example of persuasive precedent. Dissenting judgments. Remember, those are the judges that don't agree with the majority. So that is an example of persuasive precedent. Decisions in the European Court of Human Rights, we can follow them. Um, other countries' decisions, quite often we look at the Commonwealth. So we look at um, Australian cases or Canadian cases and we can follow their previous decisions if we wish. So it does depend upon the hierarchy of the courts. The case of Gotts, we can use that as another example. So they use the obiter from how. Remember, obiter is persuasive. So Gotts then set the precedent that duress or threats is not a defence to attempted murder. The next type you need to be aware of is an original precedent. Basically, any case that's the first of that kind is an original precedent. So yeah, you can use DICA as an example. That set the precedent that giving someone HIV is GBH. You can use GOTS. That's an original precedent. It was the first case to set the precedent that address or, address or threats is not a defence to attempted murder. You can use R versus R. That is original because it's saying it's illegal for a man to rape his wife. So essentially, you know, explaining an original precedent, the idea is it's a decision on a point of law that's never been decided before. There are no past cases with a similar point. So any case that makes the first ratio on that point of law is what we call an original precedent.